Well, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. Welcome to our warehouse. Today we're going to show you guys how to properly hold your clippers. I've noticed over the past, I've done tons of classes, beauty schools, barber schools, one-on-one -on -one lessons. And when I first start off with people, I noticed they really don't know how to hold the clipper. Very important and very key to cutting hair, especially fading hair. There's a technique that you have to use in a proper way you have to hold your clipper. Okay guys, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay guys, let's get into it. So my good friend Danielle that runs a barber school dropped off some dummy heads. These were already pre-cut. We have a couple of them. We're gonna do a couple of demonstrations on the channel. Uh, big shout out to her for looking out for us. She runs a barber school. Uh, we're gonna call this dummy over here Johnny T. I guess one of her students, the guy who did this uh, haircut, great haircut by the way. Looks like a man bun kind of thing. His name is Johnny T, I guess. And uh, they pretty much gave us this dummy to, you know, to go ahead and demonstrate for you guys. But we're not gonna do any cutting right now. What I wanna do is just show you guys how the clippers are properly held. And what I notice when I do a lot of classes, um, a lot of people um, start off by holding a clipper like this. Okay, guys? A lot of people like to hold the clipper like this and try to cut hair like this. They pretty much don't know what they're doing and it's perfectly fine because they're new at it. All right, guys, I wanna say the best thing to do is to hold the clipper like this. When you're holding the clipper like this, it's basically like somebody just handed you something. So if somebody handed me something, I would grab it, I would put my hand out like this, and they would put it in my hand. And I'll have that, that first finger here, and those three fingers here, and the other finger on top. So you wanna act like somebody just gave you something, like somebody's handing you the clipper, and that's how you hold your clipper, okay? You wanna hold your clipper like this. A lot of people are putting their, their, uh, their hand on top, on top, of the front part of the clipper. You basically wanna have your hand behind the clipper. The reason why you wanna basically keep your hand like this, cause you wanna be able to flick your wrist. You wanna be able to flick your wrist to stay in between guidelines, guys. You wanna be able to stay in between guidelines. When you're fading hair, it's very important to stay in between guidelines. And if you're holding your clipper like this, which you're, which you're fronting your hand forward, you're not gonna be able to really flick your wrist. You're gonna have a short range of motion trying to flick your wrist. And guess what? Your fingers are in the way. You see, if I'm, if I'm here on Johnny over here, my fingers are in the way of fading. So a lot of people go like this, and they need to position their body like this, and it just doesn't look professional to the actual customer in the chair. They can kind of tell you don't have that flow. So if you got your hand at the bottom, you're able to flick your wrist, you're able to move it like this. It gives you that range of motion, and you're able to calmly fade hair. Let's get in a little bit closer and let me show you the hand position a lot closer. Now that we're a little bit closer, let's take a closer look at my hand position. So a lot of the newbies that I train would have their hands in front of the clippers, like I said, and they'll be flicking their wrist. You can flick it, but just not as much as you usually could. Um, and then their body would be so awkward. It kinda, it's kind of like the elbow would go up and their shoulder would kind of go in and they'll try to fade hair like this. And a lot of them would actually take this hand, the second hand, and try to move the lever with that. So while they're fading, they'll stop, they'll move the lever and try to fade like this. But if you notice, when you put your hand behind the clipper as if somebody handed me the clipper, I now have freedom of my wrist. I can flick my wrist the way I want to. I also have my thumb where I can play with the lever. Playing with the lever while you're fading is very important as you guys already know if you watch previous videos. Um, playing with the lever is definitely an important thing. Okay guys, you wanna be able to flick your wrist and be able to play with the lever. So if we're fading, we have to move that lever up a little bit. We'll be able to fade, move the lever, fade, move the lever, fade wherever we want. Okay, so it gives me that freedom to kind of fade, come back around here, move the lever, fade, come back around here, move the lever. If we're like this, we won't be able to do that. That's why a lot of people do that. Okay guys, and very important, my thumb is here. My thumb is in a position and making me really comfortable with the clipper. I don't have to worry about dropping it or anything like that. I pretty much got that freedom of motion. Very, very important. All right guys, here's an example on a real person. As you can see, I'm able to get that range of motion, flick my wrist, stop the machine exactly where I wanna stop it at, um, go around the ears. It's giving me that nice, open, I'm not stiff. I'm able to do exactly what I wanna do with the machine. Have a clip on the machine right here, taking out a line, and you can see I can grab the lever, flick it, close it, open it back up. Nice and comfortable, not stiff at all. Um, and it gives you just that flexibility and to do any type of haircut that you want. You can see the same thing over here. We're taking out a skin line, bending the ear, going around the ear, have that nice, nice, nice flexibility to do exactly what I wanna do. Okay guys, let's turn this clipper on. I'm gonna give you guys an example of how not to do it. We're gonna go ahead and turn this machine on. Uh, I'm gonna open it up all the way. Now, if I had my hand like this and I was trying to fade here, yeah, I could do it, 
but my body's a little scrunched in. But my body's like leaning at an angle, you know? I'm like this. I look really, really uncomfortable. Now let's see the difference when I turn my hand around, like, it, like somebody handed it to me. Now I'm able to freely move my hand, move the lever, move my hand, move the lever. All right, let's get a little closer. So this is the, this is the don't way, with our hands like this. So if I wanna move the lever, it's gonna be a little weird, a little awkward. Now if I, if I turn my hand back around on the, on the bottom part, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I can freely flick my wrist, okay? Close it up, open it up. Nice and lightly, guys. And you're able to kind of hold it with your fingers and get that, you're able to hold it with your fingers and get that nice flow, okay? If I got it this way, not really gonna be able to get that flow. If I got it this way, I have that nice flow. And if you notice this manufacturer, Wall, has put a couple ridges behind the clipper so that you can see that they knew what they were doing. They obviously know the fingers go there. If you look at my, my fingers fit right on the ridge. Now if I'm holding it this way, my fingers do not go on the ridge, okay? If I'm holding it this way, you notice that the fingers are going on the ridge. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, big shout out to Danielle and uh, Johnny T for giving us these dummies to practice on. Uh, for you guys out there, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Um, so guys, remember, practice makes perfect. Nothing's gonna come overnight. Uh, make sure that you guys keep hitting it hard. If you're a new guy out there, grab your clipper and just practice those uh, hand positions that I was showing. You could do it in your room. You don't have to do it while you're cutting hair. Always practice before the game, okay? You wanna make sure you get good at it. Again, man, hope this video helped you guys out. We got a lot of things coming. Um, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment below, tell us what you thought about the video. It really helps the channel grow. Um, if you guys have any ideas for videos, you can also leave the comments below. We we'll love to hear them. Um, we got a lot of good things coming on this channel. We have a super, super great blog that's gonna come up um, after this quarantine. Everybody's locked down uh, with the whole uh, COVID-19 thing. Everybody's all locked down, but we just opened up a barbershop about a month ago. Uh, so we got a lot of things coming over there at that shop. I'm also gonna do a personal blog um, showing how I'm gonna grow the shop and stuff like that. So look out for that. Uh, really appreciate you guys that are following us and all the new subscribers. Talk to you soon. Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. If you guys need any products, use coupon code YouTube. Talk to you soon.